Hey guys, be careful, man. Uh, a lot of you guys, girlfriends and wives, uh, they have a so-called workout routine. And um, I consult with people and I have consulted with a lot of personal trainers and they admitted that they feel guilty because they have smashed a, a lot of, I've spoke to over 80, 83 personal trainers and they all have been smashing other men, girlfriends and wives. And, the women have been coming on to them, and yeah. So with all that working out and squats and bending over and stuff, yeah, it might be for 30 minutes, 20 minutes, but they getting it in. You know, they're not doing it for a long time. They're doing it for a good time. So yeah, she might just work out for an hour, but 30 minutes of that, or if not the whole hour, most of y'all girlfriends and wives are getting getting smashed by a personal trainer. The baby not even might even be yours. It might be the personal trainer baby. So you wonder why she's so happy and you know, you wonder why she been forgiving you. Seems like she been forgiving you and stuff like that. Yeah. A lot of single women doing it too. Not just girls in relationships. But these personal trainers are going through them. I spoke with the women. They admitted it. They come to me for consultations and ask me what's going on, why do they keep, you know, doing this and that. And a lot of single women told me that these personal trainers are like walking strippers. They are going at it. I mean, like they really, really, you know, getting it in. And you don't have to take my word for it. Ask them yourself. These personal trainers and all that stuff, these fitness folks, yeah, they, all them tights and easy access clothes, are, yeah, they, they actually getting it in. So I'm not saying, not all, maybe your girlfriend or wife is the exception, but I'm just letting you know that based on the, the amount of people I've talked to and the amount of people others talk to that I know, it's a reality. Confessions of a personal trainer is real. And confessions of <laughs> the women that dealt with personal trainers is real also. Be careful out there. It don't take long to cheat. And uh, it's a lot of different ways to make more email accounts, social media accounts. They're on these dating sites. They're saying they're just looking for friends, but they're looking to cheat. They said, I'm married looking for friends. Nothing serious. That means she's looking to cheat. There are pregnant women on dating sites, on Hinge, Plenty of Fish, OK Cuban, Facebook dating. There's women on there that's, they're not looking for love. They're looking for a, a situation, a beneficial situation. Some of them may say they're looking for love, but they're quick to dismiss you because they're not looking for love. If they were looking for love, they wouldn't be quick to dismiss you if you're a good man. They should be able to see that you're genuine. But they're not looking for love, so they're not looking for the right things. They're looking for a certain situation, a certain type of person that's willing to accept that situation. That's what they're looking for. I'm Alan Rillion there. Everything you need is in the description box, so thoroughly investigate the description box and uh, for you newcomers, welcome to Rillionaire Nation. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell to be notified for the next video. Until next time, stay close to Jesus, stay prayed up, stay hydrated, get your rest, laugh hard, live today like tomorrow night promise. Okay? Much love to you. Keep your heart, make sure it's breathing, operate in love, because if you're not, if you're not loving, you ain't living. I'm out. Alan Rillionaire.